All right, welcome everyone to today's video. We're going to talk about constant pressure expansion work. So in previous videos, we talked about right if you're expanding against some external pressure, right, and you're changing say the height of some piston, right, that that work done, right, that change in work is related with an external pressure times some change in volume. Okay. And so how we're going to figure out what the total work that's being done is by integrating this infinitesimal amount of work, right? That work is related with the integral of dW, okay? From some initial to final state, okay? And so we're going to use this to then calculate the total amount of work done through a variety of different ways, okay? Please note that we're always using external pressure in this equation. All right. Now, there are other types of work that we won't really go into in this course, right? There's surface expansion, ex extension work, electrical work, other things like that, right? We won't focus on those types of work in this course, but just note that they do exist, okay? But here, we're just gonna be focusing on this expansion work. You'll notice, right, all these types of works have kind of thing in common, right? There, there's right, this pressure, right? For the expansion work, there's this um, kind of voltage, right? F, there's this tension, right? Gamma is this surface tension, right? Um, <clears throat> okay, it's different type things times by some change of charge or change in length, change in area or change in volume. Okay. So first, we're going to talk about expansion work. We're talking about free expansion, right? If the external pressure is equal to zero, right? Well, if you're expanding against no external pressure, right, the work that you're doing is just zero, right? Because there, there's no pressure, nothing you're expanding against, okay? So it takes no amount of work to expand into that object because there's nothing there to crush it back. So work's just zero, okay? Now, we want to look at what is the expansion against a constant external pressure okay in this case right we have this integral this work is minus p external dv right well the external pressure is just a constant so that can get pulled out of the integrand and you are left with then just the work that's being done is just minus p external delta v okay All right and if you kind of take a look at that at this pressure versus volume curve, right, the work that's being done is related with the area underneath this curve, right, where you have a constant pressure, and then you're just looking at your volume changes, okay? 